hey java learners welcome to java zone yeah so in the last tutorial we have seen uh, the frequency of a number in a really simple way like uh, a number is given to us that is here you can see 55 uh, this uh, this program only we have we had seen so the number that is given to you and uh, for that number you need to calculate the frequency that means how many times that number is repeating into the array in the array okay but now this is not a case it's really simple and in this case uh, we're not asking any of the interview or any anywhere so now what you need to do is you need to calculate the frequency of each and every number present in an array okay so let's do it let's uh, delete okay now first we need uh, we, I need a for loop and don't worry don't worry about what code I'm I'm writing at the end of this uh, code I'm gonna explain you line by line using debugging mode that is the best way and best approach to understand each and every or any program I equal zero I less than number dot uh, length yeah I plus plus now I'm going to initialize the num equals to number i okay I'm taking one by one number from an array right then I'm putting one condition like if num equals equals minus one then continue what what continue do is uh, when the condition got true that is num equal to equal to minus one then the control goes to continue and the program will not move forward instead the program goes and increment the i means the program uh, doesn't move to the twelfth line when this condition becomes true continue and then again program goes to the line number eight and it incremented the value of i okay it will not goes to the uh, downside forward then i initialize one count variable okay then I again use another follow because I need to trace complete array right less than number dot length j plus plus okay now here's the business logic I'll write if uh, num equals equals number of j then count plus plus and here now the line number 16 this is a really important most important thing that is number of j e equals minus one okay then at the end of loop I'm printing the frequency of num is count let's see okay the frequency of uh, 55 is 5 1 2 3 4 5 99 is 2 okay 100 is 1 20 45 is 1 okay so we are got getting the output but this is but this is uh, not this the code I've written okay so let's understand let's understand the code using debugging so the first rule is put the debug point where you need to stop the control I need I want to stop the control here okay I'll just double click here and then just click on this debug uh, debug button yeah control stops here so before before this I only executed one line that is num I initialize array here it is then I step over okay I enter into the for loop so this for loop uh, the value of i is 0 you can see yeah for loop i is 0 and here the, con uh, the, the control stops here okay it's not executed until and unless I press this button I just I press this okay so number of i i is 0 so number of zero that is hundred so num got initialized as 200 you can see here similarly now it's checking that num 
equal to equal to minus 1 or not as num equal to 100 so condition false it move forward then similarly count it initializes count to 0 you can see yes now I'm again entering into the another loop yes it entered now it is checking that num okay num which is equal to num of j j is 0 so number is an array and j is 0 array of 0 is 100 num is 100 oh condition true it enters yeah here it is count plus plus so count 0 changes to 1 count equal to 1 now what I'm doing is I'm I'm initializing or I'm changing the value of number of zero means I'm changing those value where this condition getting true okay so number of j j is zero that is number of zero that is hundred to minus one okay yeah then again j equal to 1 you can see hover on it j equal to 1 it initializes from 0 to 1 now number of j that is number of 1 so number of 1 is 20 and here it is num 100 condition false again so it goes again 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 until unless loop ends and Mm, yeah and, and and at the end I am uh, printing one message like the frequency of num that is 100 he, this is the num is count count is here and yeah so f the first message got printed the frequency of 100 is 1 then again comes to out of all loop I initializes i from 0 to 1 okay num of now you can now you can notice what is the array what is a updated ar array C minus 1 it change 100 to minus 1 okay so now next num of i i turns to 1 num of 1 is 20 so number also 20 num equals to 20 not equal to minus 1 okay condition false move forward int count equal to 0 again comes now num of j j j is 0 that is minus 1 okay and num is 20 20 not equal to minus 1 condition false num j is 1 now num of 1 is 20 20 equals 20 condition true it should enter yes now see hover on the number minus 1 minus 1 okay now this was turn to minus 1 yeah so similarly uh, let me let, let me press this this uh, f8 now f8 is used for the next breaking point and the next breaking point is this only okay so it completely execute this and again came come here see the frequency of 20 is 1 it executed everything and ca came here the next is 45 so, so let me stop here 99 where 2 where it's rep where uh, the 19 rep is repeating multiple time 45 78 okay num is 99 good num 99 not equal to minus 1 okay so it executes so j is now 3 okay now j is 4 num of 4 1 2 3 4 is 99 it should enter okay num of j that is num of 4 is minus 1 hover on the number there yeah, you can see 0 1 2 3 4 0 1 2 3 4 is minus 1 again initialize j 2 plus 1 that is now j is 5 okay now num of 5 is again 99 that is yes the 99 it should enter again and num of 5 also turn to minus 1 so till then okay now as soon as you enter the i value turn to 5 okay now i num of 0 1 2 3 4 5 that is minus 1 so num equals to minus 1 
num equal to equal to minus one condition true continue it should it will not execute this directly ag uh, directly come here control come here and initialize i see this similarly i'll execute the program 66 one time 333 three, one time 221 one time 33 one time 55 five times and eight one time and got terminated so console is this and this is our output so this is uh, all about uh, stack trace and uh, each and every th line by line understanding using debugging mode just just make the debugging mode as your uh, as your power because you can understand each and every program using debugging mode in the company also you or in the multinational companies you need to debug the issues and errors okay so enough for this and uh, this is the second approach of finding the frequency but the best approach this is not a best approach and the best approach I'm gonna tell you in the next video uh, where we are only using on, uh, one for loop okay this is uh, here we are using two for loop so this is not the good approach only the using one for loop that is acceptable and uh, that is also best approach okay, until then goodbye and uh, have a nice day bye bye